welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I'm Echo very nice to meet you stick around because today I'm going to show you how to make Thai basil chicken stir fry Thai basil chicken stir fry or also known as pad gir pao is a popular Thai dish it's a great meal for lunch or dinner and I love it when it's paired with steamed rice with some fried eggs and cucumbers on the side I love this dish it's packed with pungent flavors and it's absolutely delicious this recipe is easy and simple and it's quick to make so let's get started good morning i'm echo and welcome to echo's kitchen here are the ingredients 300 grams of ground chicken, a tablespoon of coconut oil or vegetable oil, 3 to 4 tablespoons of minced chili and garlic, one spur chili, half of medium sized white onion, half a cup of long string beans, a handful of Thai basil, two eggs, some fresh cucumbers, and for the sauce, combine two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a tablespoon of fish sauce, and a tablespoon of water. Use 5 to 8 cloves of garlic and 5 to 10 pieces of chili. You can either mince the chili and garlic or pound them. Or you can also just use a food processor which is my preferred way because it's much more convenient. Easy peasy, no need to sweat it out. Chop the long string beans into small pieces. If it's not available, use any green beans you can find in your local supermarket. Even cut frozen green beans are also great. Now chop the white onions into small pieces. Then, thinly slice the spur chili. You can also use red bell pepper instead of spur chili if you like. Add the coconut oil into the wok over medium-high heat. Add the chili and garlic then saute. Add the ground chicken and keep mixing until they're no longer in big lumps. I recommend using Thai part for this recipe. Add half of the sauce and continue to mix. When the chicken is almost done, add the veggies. Stir continuously. Then add the remaining sauce. Continue to cook until the sauce is reduced and the chicken is cooked. Turn the heat to low, then add the Thai basil. And we're done! You can serve it with some lettuce just like a wrap. At this point, I'm going to mix in my leftover brown rice into my Thai basil chicken stir fry. This is completely optional. Mix it all together and let it sit there for a couple of minutes and let the rice absorb all the wonderful flavor. You like to spice up your rice? This is the way to do it. I like to serve my pad gir pao with some sunny side up eggs and some fresh cucumbers on the side. Serve while hot and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious recipes. If you have questions about the recipe, please don't hesitate to ask me. I would love to hear any feedback or comments from you guys. Thank you for your support and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!